Mark 15. And immediately, in the morning, the chief priests had a dialogue with the elders and scribes and all the council. Having bound Yahusha, they led him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Yehudim? And he answering said to him, You said it. And the chief priests accused him of much, but he made no answer. And Pilate again asked him, saying, Have you no answer? See how much they witness against you. But Yahusha still gave no answer, so that Pilate marveled. And at a festival he released to them one prisoner, whomever they were asking. And there was one called Baraba, chained with his fellow rebels, who had committed murder in the uprising. And the throng, crying aloud, began to ask, as he had always done for them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Do you wish me to release for you the king of the Yehudim? For he knew that the chief priests had handed him over because of envy. And the chief priests stirred up the throng that he should rather release Barabbas to them. And Pilate answered and again said to them, What then do you wish me to do, to whom you call the king of the Yahudim? And again they cried out, Impale him! And Pilate said to them, Why, what evil has he done? And they vehemently cried out, Impale him! And Pilate, wishing to satisfy the throng, released Baraba to them. And having scourged him, he delivered Yahusha over to be impaled. And the soldiers led him away into the court, which is the palace. And they called together the entire company, and decked him with purple. And they formed a crown of thorns, put it on him, and they began to call out to him, Greetings, King of the Yahudim. And they kept beating him on the head with a reed, and were spitting on him. And bending the knee, they were bowing down to him. And when they had mocked him, they took the purple off him, and put his own clothing on him, and led him out to impale him. And they enlisted a passer-by, Shimon, a Cyrenian, coming from a field, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to bear his stake. And they brought him to the place Golgotha, which is translated, place of a skull. And they were giving him wine, mixed with myrrh, to drink, but he did not take it. And when they impaled him, they divided his clothing, casting lots for them, what each one should take. And it was the third hour, and they impaled him, and the inscription of his accusation was written above the king of the Yehudim. And with him they impaled two robbers, one on his right and the other on his left. And the scripture was filled, which says, And he was reckoned with the lawless, and those passing by were blaspheming him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who destroy the Mishkan and build it in three yomim, deliver yourself and come down from the stake. And likewise the chief priests and the scribes, mocking to one another, said, He delivered others, he is unable to save himself. The Mashiach, the king of Yisharal, come down now from the stake so that we see and believe. And those who were impaled with him were reproaching him. And when the sixth hour came, darkness came over all the land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour Yahusha cried out with a loud voice, saying, Ali, Ali, Lama Shebuktani, which is translated, My Al, My Al, why have you forsaken me? And some of those standing by, when they heard it, said, See, he is calling for Aliyahu. And someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, and put it on a reed, and offered it to him to drink, saying, Leave him, let us see if Aliyahu comes to take him down. And Yahusha cried out with a loud voice, and breathed his last. And the veil of the Mishkan was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the captain who was standing opposite him saw that he cried out like this and breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was the son of Allahim. And there were also women watching from a distance, among whom was also Miriam from Magdala, and Miriam the mother of Yaqub the less, and of Yusef, and Shalomah who also followed him and attended him when he was in Galil, and many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. And when evening had come, because it was the preparation Yom, 
that is, the Yom before the Shabbat, Yusef of Ramathayim, a prominent council member, who was himself waiting for the reign of Yahuwah, came, boldly went into Pilate, and requested the body of Yahusha. But Pilate wondered whether he was already dead, so summoning the captain, he asked him if he was already dead, and when he learned from the captain, he gave the body to Yusef, and he, having bought fine linen, took him down and wrapped him in the linen, and he laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of the rock, and rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb, and Miriam from Magdala, and Miriam the mother of Yusef, saw where he was laid.